Hey there, it's Chris with Acting Creative, and this is a hand woven experience, episode 65. And in this episode, we're gonna talk color. I have got three more color tips just for you. And in episode 64, we talked about color in reference to the warp, which those are the yarns that are gonna go through the loom under tension. This time around, we're gonna address the weft. See, I like to think of the two as having very different roles. The warp is kind of the structure, it's the foundation, it's the basis for the entire project. Whereas the weft, well, that can really add personality. So I have three really easy color tips for you if you're wondering what to plan to put into your shuttle for your next project. So here we go. Tip number one is to mirror the colors in your warp. Here's what I mean. In this sample here, I have a white, a gray, this crazy chartreuse color, and a navy blue. So when I went to address what was gonna be in my shuttle, I mirrored those four colors. I did a little section with the navy, did a little section with the chartreuse, isn't that crazy? I did a little section with the white and a little section with the gray. But because you've already established that these are your colors in the warp, it's logical then to choose one of those options or all of those options, depending on how fancy you're feeling like. But you'll notice each one has a little different personality, right? I feel like the navy has kind of a serious undertone to it. The chartreuse, it's kind of bright and fun. The white has kind of a more classic, and the gray is a little more subtle. So depending on what color you choose, it's gonna give a different personality to the project. All right, tip number two is to choose a lighter or darker version of one of the colors in your warp. Here's my sample. So this, wow, boy, this is just not like me at all. <laughs> I hardly ever do all pastels like this, but clearly I was feeling in a pastel mood, which is pretty rare. So these are my warp colors here. I've got a peach, I've got kind of a pale green, a soft yellow, a white. These are my warp colors here. So for my weft then, I started out mirroring that light green that I have in the warp. But as I was looking at it, I thought, well, what if I took that green and I went darker? So look at this section. This is the green, but just a darker version. It's a really easy step to go from taking one of your colors and making it lighter or darker to complement it in your weft. And look at the difference in personality there, right? This is very soft. It makes me think of like a nice baby blanket. Uh, and this has a much more kind of solid kind of feel to it. Okay, tip number three is to pick a neighbor. In episode 64, I brought up the idea of using your color wheel to help select an option for your warp. Well, I'm gonna bring you back to the color wheel again this time. So here is my sample. All right, this I did a couple different versions of purple and some gray. That's what I wanted to do in my warp options here. You can see this is my this is my purple, one of the purples. I have a darker version in there too, kind of a plum. Anyways, so I took this and I pulled up my trusty color wheel and I said, you know, my purple is kind of right in here. What if I chose a weft color that was on either side of it? So maybe go over here, kind of a, a reddish purpley kind of color, or maybe this way, which is a blue. So I chose the blue option. So let me unroll this a little bit. You can see these are, I'm mirroring my colors right here in the warp. And then look at that. Here's my blue. That is a neighbor of one of the purples that I have in the warp right here. I need like one more hand to do that, don't I? Right, right there. But this is the blue. And look how it blends the colors so beautifully even though it wasn't exactly the color that was in the warp, that weft color using the blue kind of brings it all together and gives it a nice kind of tight grouping of colors, which I really like. So those are our three color tips for your weft. First of all, mirror the colors in the warp. Whatever you've already selected, your beautiful collection of colors for your warp, just mirror them in your weft. You can't go wrong with that option. Number two, 
use a version of one of those, a lighter or darker version, staying kind of in the same collection, the same color family, all of that. Number three, pull out your color wheel and pick a neighbor. Choose something that's right next door to one of the options that you have already selected for your warp. So you have lots of options and tools at your disposal. The next time you go to sit down at your loom and your warp is staring at you all beautiful and bright and pretty and you're like what do i put in my shuttle now you have three great options to answer that question all right my friends have a great week and happy weaving